Today, we're going to talk about one of the biggest trends in basketball over the past decade, the rise of small ball and positionless basketball. What the hell is even that? Small ball and positionless basketball have become increasingly popular in the NBA. It's a style of play that emphasizes speed, agility, and versatility over traditional size and position roles. One of the biggest proponents of small ball and positionless basketball is Golden State Warriors coach Steve Kerr, who won four championships with the team using this style of play. But let's dive into why positionless basketball and small ball is important in the new modern NBA. It's right, it's a positionless game. Take away all the men you had to argue me yesterday whether Steph Curry is a PG or he's a shooting guard or he's a hybrid. Your resume is what goes into that. Right? Your resume, how many all NBAs, how many MVPs, all of this thing. Clay Thompson, Keep when he on. missed out on an all well, an all NBA a few years ago when mm -hmm. they were on their way to win a championship and that cost him the Supermax, that affected him. And it affects legacies. And I'm not saying like legacy, like is it number one or number two, but right. if Joel Embiid is going to be one of the next hundred greatest players, they're gonna count your all NBA first team. They're gonna count your all NBA teams and your all stars. So to have a guy who was easily either the first or second best player in the league as part of the new collective bargaining agreement between the NBA and NBA Players Association. All NBA teams will reportedly be positionless. The positionless change is much needed in today's NBA, where centers can handle the ball and shoot three-pointers like guards. In addition, last year's NBA MVP runner-up, Philadelphia 76ers big man Joel Embiid landed on the All-NBA second team because MVP winner Nikola Jokic took the first team spot. But Embiid was clearly one of the best five players in the NBA and deserved more recognition. That won't be an issue with the new rule. Small ball and positionless basketball has become popular for a few reasons. First, it allows teams to play at a faster pace, which can be a huge advantage in today's game. Second, it allows for more spacing on the court, which can open up driving lanes and make it easier to get good shots. And finally, it allows teams to switch defensively more easily, which can make it harder for opponents to score. Let's take a look at how Draymond Green is a prime example of a player who embodies the principles of small ball and positionless basketball. He has been a key part of the Golden State Warriors' success over the past decade, playing a crucial role in their three championships. Green is known for his versatility on both ends of the court. He can play multiple positions, including power forward, center, and even point guard at times. This allows the Warriors to be very flexible with their lineups and adjust to different matchups. Green is also an excellent defender, with the ability to guard multiple positions. He is a tenacious defender who can disrupt opponents with his quick hands and physicality. His defensive versatility is a key part of the Warriors' success on that end of the court. Offensively, Green is an excellent passer and ball handler, with the ability to initiate the offense and make plays for his teammates. He is also a capable three-point shooter, which allows him to stretch the floor and create spacing for his teammates. Green's ability to play multiple positions and do many things on the court has been a huge part of the Warriors' success with small ball and positionless basketball. He is often referred to as a Swiss Army knife because of his ability to do many different things on the court. But it's not just Green's individual abilities that make him successful in small ball and positionless basketball. He also embodies the unselfish, team-first mentality that is required for this style of play. He is always looking for ways to make his teammates better, and he is willing to sacrifice his own stats for the good of the team. In many ways, Green is the perfect player for small ball and positionless basketball. His versatility, defensive prowess, and unselfishness make him a valuable asset for any team that wants to play this style of basketball. Positionless basketball takes things a step further by removing the traditional positions of point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. Instead, positionless basketball focuses on versatile players who can play multiple positions and roles on the court. This allows teams to be more creative with their lineups and to adjust to different matchups more easily. Small ball and positionless basketball are becoming more popular because it allows teams to play at a faster pace, which can be a huge advantage in today's game. It allows for more spacing on the court, which can open up driving lanes and make it easier to get good shots.
and it allows teams to switch defensively more easily, which can make it harder for opponents to score. Small ball and positionless basketball are also effective in creating mismatches on both offense and defense. Smaller players with quickness and shooting skills can create mismatches against bigger defenders. On defense, versatile players who can guard multiple positions can switch on screens and disrupt the opponent's offense. Overall, the rise of small ball and positionless basketball is changing the way the game is played. It's a style of play that is fast-paced, exciting, and requires versatile players who can adapt to different situations. Charles Barkley made a great point when Russell Westbrook and James Harden was playing small ball. His prediction was spot on. We hope you enjoyed learning more about the rise of small ball and positionless basketball. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more basketball content, and don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts on this style of play. We'll see you in the next video.